What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll teach you this super cool liquid text animation effect all done in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. But without further ado, let's get started. So I am here in my Premiere where I have just prepared a completely blank sequence. The first thing I'm going to do just to get some background so we're not working on this black video. So I'm going to create a color map by right clicking over here, new item color map hit ok and i have saved actually some colors which i thought looked good feel free to use the same or use your own but this one is d f f e f f just hit ok okay and i'm going to drag this into my sequence in video layer one and let's increase the duration a little bit so now it's a little bit easier to see what we're working with next up i'm going to create some text i do that just by pressing t or you can select the type tool over here and I am just going to type in something super cringe. I think wavy baby is pretty funny and it's kind of like, a, it suits the theme with liquid, right? But this looks pretty whack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into window and essential graphics. First and foremost, go into edit. Let's change the fill so we can see what we're doing. Just for now, black is fine. I like the font, font shift bold. I am going to change the size to 350 and I will center the text. Now that is done, I will drag it out so that it fills the entire DFDR project. And I think I will drag this one up to video layer 6 because I want four different waves. That's why there is four empty video rows. Let us create some waves. So I am selecting the rectangle tool here and I'm drawing a rectangle. And make sure that you don't draw the rectangle inside the text so you get this separate video layer let's just drag this underneath here to video 2 and fill this out and let's just manipulate this rectangle a little bit let's change the width to 1920 the height to 540 and let's maybe Let's just center it. I think this will be fine. Very impressive. We have a blank back. We have a white background with a blue square with some black text. All right. Let's actually get started on the effect. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an effect called Wave Warp. Just apply that to our rectangle, like so. Let's play around with the settings in here. I want to keep the wave type as sign because that already kind of looks like waves, but we can make it more smooth. Let's maybe change the height to 5. Let's change the width to 800. So we get these very wide, smooth waves. I think these are a little bit too fast. So let's change the speed to 0 0.5. And I'm happy with this. This is going to be like our background waves. This really smooth, slow wave. Next up, I am going to animate the position. So I'm at 0, 0 in my sequence. And I will just make sure that this square goes underneath our text I will have it come a little bit from the left something like that I'm going to enable keyframes on the position and I will go two seconds forward into our timeline like so and I will reset the position actually just go a little bit down with it just so barely covers the text so we actually get this wave effect on the text so this is what we have right now not that interesting but we can work with this I'm going to select my keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in, and ease out. Very cool. And what this basically does is it means that the speed will ramp up and then slowly ease in, as you can see here. Group fast and slow, just to increase the smoothness a little bit. But anyways, let's make this wave we've created actually blend with the text. I'm going to search for an effect called track matte key and apply that to our square and under matte i will change it from none to video six so now we have this thing going on here as you can see the way i placed it it looks like the top of the text is wavy that's pretty cool i think so far so good let's create another wave i will duplicate this graphics layer by holding down alt and dragging it up and I want to offset it by, let's say, 10 frames. So I'm holding on shift and pressing right arrow twice. 
I'm going to drag this graphic over here. Very cool. And inside our new square, it will do the exact same thing. But to see what we're working with, go over here to Essential Graphics and select the shape in your new square layer. Let's change the color a little bit. I want to go with this color, 006 to A6, which is a little bit lighter of a blue. This time, instead of having it come from the left, let's have it come from the right. And here, let's maybe not bring it as far up, maybe something like that. And let's change the height, I think that could be cool. Let's keep the width, but maybe let's change the speed to 0 0.4. Just take a look now, we're getting somewhere. That's cool. And you know what? I will repeat the process. Go to the start of your second square. Shift, right click twice. One, two. Drag it up and drag it over there. Go into the shape. Let's change the fill. This time I will go with 41C3FF, even lighter blue. And let's have the animation come from the, sorry, let's have the animation come from the left this time. And have it come just a little bit lower down, something like this. And let's again play with the settings of the wave. Change the height to 30, the width maybe to 740 this time. Let's keep the speed at 0 0.4. I don't know, let's play around with the face maybe. Let's set it to 100. Let's take a look. And as you can see, we're getting there. I think this height is maybe a little bit too much. Let's do 25. Let's do the previous ones to 30. All right, very cool. Let's do this a last time. Drag it up and over and have it come from the right this time have it come just a little bit less down I will change the color this time to 41 FFFD it's very light blue so you get you see what we're doing here we're layering the squares doing some different waves and lighter and lighter blue yeah let's maybe use a height of 20 width of 550 speed of 0 0.3 Face it back to zero again, maybe. Yeah, that looks so sweet. So the effect is kind of done. I will just fit this. We can do a little bit, a little bit more to sell the effect. So our lowest layer, this bad boy right here. When it goes up, I want the waves to be more wild. So basically what I'm going to do is where it ends, I will put a keyframe and actually change the wave height to something like 25 and maybe go 15 frames forward and then put it back to five. So like both and then ease in, ease out. That way, once it goes up, we will have this wild wave. But it will smooth out and give us this chill wave on the top. And I think this really just sells the effect. And you know what? Our second layer doesn't quite come up and connect, so I will just shift it up the slightest. Something like so, because I want this wave to come covered here. As you can see, I think that looks pretty sweet. I think this first this light blue, I want it to go all the way down, actually. Something like this, maybe. Does that work? Yeah, that looks sweet. So basically what I did here, just to make it look more wavy, is our second layer, I want that to come over the blue. So this point, it's blue, but it's shift, and then it becomes the darker blue, right? And this light blue in the bottom, I want like, the corners to switch between the super light blue and the less light blue. But I mean, if you made it to this point of the video, make sure to click the like button. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's enough selling out. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And as I said before, make sure to like. But also consider maybe dropping a comment and subscribing. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.